But in this ordinance, as is proposed, it seems to me that we're in violation of the charter. And I'm not practicing law. In not having the enforcement of this ordinance under the jurisdiction of the city of Manning. Second place that concerns me, not with our present Human Relations Commission, but as I say, I can't see into the future too far to know what might happen in the years to come, is the area where the Human Relations Commission or the administrator would be given the right to file a complaint without any complaint having been filed, without any information, which could cause a witch hunt. Uh, I think that we should pass the ordinance uh, as it is prepared. Uh, I will back up on that if the city attorney will give us a legal opinion based upon some authority that's in violation of the charter, because I don't want to violate the charter any more than anybody else does. Uh, but if this does it, I say to you that we've got literally dozens. Uh, of ordinances on our books that are in violation of the charter, and I personally do not think that it does. I would be in favor of, of uh, the mayor uh, appointing a committee from this council to uh, work with the, the um, uh, legal department and instruct the legal department to draw an ordinance uh, that the council feels that it could uh, uh, would serve the purpose and at the same time uh, not get the, the community into the, the wrong category. But, uh, I still feel that uh, uh, we've now gone several weeks and over into months with this and I feel that we should adopt this ordinance. If we have difficulty with it, review it on the basis of the problems as, as they arise. Uh, we can always amend it. We can always change it to make it uh, workable if we find that uh, it's not working properly at this in its present form. And under the uh, 